Finally got our grain system working. It's uh, been a couple months of hard work and a lot of time. We built the hopper, put the hopper together, and the, the grain bin itself gets bolted together, and the roof and all that. The concrete had to get poured, the shack had to get built, augers drained up into place. So we, we come in with the tractor, and we unload into the swing hopper, and he runs up to the top of the wet bin up there, and he holds about three and a half semis. And then from the hopper bottom, you can see how it drops down in and slows down in that little hopper down there. And uh, there's a gate there that we can, for maintenance and other issues, and control the flow. And then from that auger, he runs up to the top of the dryer. In the top of the dryer, that skinny part is a reservoir so that heat comes through the fan here. chamber of the dryer and this is the corn through this perforated screen and I can feel the hot air coming through and you can just slowly see the kernels they're, they're just trickling down at that steady pace because we're dumping hot and so he's running running about max speed right now um, our augers were geared for high moisture corn so we weren't expecting this volume throughput. Um, but the dryer itself holds about a half a semi, and that column is only this thick of corn. And then from them two little upright angles around that door, that's all empty, and the air is getting blown out from there through that corn. You can see the little meter. This little chain runs the metering rolls at the bottom of the dryer down there and that's where the corn is going comes out here runs through a moisture sensor and then up up there 60 feet up this little auger to that bin and uh, right now it's doing about a, a half a semi or a little better an hour and so it's kind of a nice system compared to what we used to have that did a semi in a day, it seemed like. Then we come in our little shack. We still gotta finish the shack yet, but this is the control box for the dryer. And so he's sensing the out moisture. Remember the moisture sensor out there? So that's he's reading that, and that's just a relative speed of unloading. And so it's bouncing between high speed and low speed right now, that 60 to 70 jump because we're right, it's trying to hold that 15.5, 15.3 area. And so it slows down the meters and now it's sped back up because it's sensed at 15.3 and four. And, uh, and then if it senses 15, you know, lower it speeds up and now he's ramping back down because it jumped to 15.5. And so it's, it's a very nice system. It was a lot of work. I'm glad we did it. It's a, it's a massive step for our little farm, but it's something we needed to do to, to keep moving forward. And it's kind of fun to see it all come together and nice quiet system. And yeah, it's just it's kind of nice to see your hard work pay off and get something done. I mean, in a matter of a day, that bin there holds about 12, maybe 13 semis. And uh, in two days here, we'll have him full. In fact, we aren't even gonna finish the second day and he'll be full. And then that big blue auger gets moved to the other side of that bin and we load trucks out on that road to empty him. And then we start all over again on filling them. And so, yeah, that's just a quick little tour of our system. And so far, so good and just pretty happy.